Let's take a look at how ions are formed. So when you look at the periodic table, all of the atoms on the periodic table, they're neutral. And that's because the protons, the number of protons equals the electrons. Protons are positive, electrons are negative. And when those are equal, you have a net charge of zero. Atoms on the periodic table, they're neutral. But for ions, the number of protons does not equal the number of electrons. So when atoms gain or lose electrons, we end up with ions and they have a positive or negative charge. If they gain electrons, electrons are negative, they have a negative charge. If they lose those electrons, they become positive. And we can see a trend for how they'll lose or gain electrons on the periodic table. So here we have the elements. In elements in group one, they'll actually lose an electron. These will all be one plus. Group two, two plus. Transition metals, they'll be positive, but it varies how many electrons they'll lose. Then over here, the non-metals, they'll actually gain electrons and have a negative charge. Noble gases, they're neutral. They don't gain or lose, so they don't have an ionic charge. Let's take a look at an atom becoming an ion. So here we have lithium from the periodic table, and it's a neutral atom. One, two, three of these protons down here, and one, two, three electrons, so it's neutral. But when lithium loses an electron, because it's in group one, it loses an electron, it becomes an ion, has a positive charge. And often it'll lose that electron when it forms a chemical bond. It'll transfer it to another atom. Let's take a look at fluorine. So on the periodic table, fluorine atomic number nine, that has nine protons. And because elements on the periodic table are neutral, it has nine electrons. Fluorine will actually gain another electron and that'll fill its outer shell. So we add another one. And now because it's gained one electron, it becomes an ion, it's a negative ion. So by gaining an extra electron, more electrons than protons, fluorine forms a negative ion. Let's go back. So to sum up, atoms, they can become ions by either losing or gaining electrons. And when they do that, the result is that the number of protons does not equal the electrons, and we have either a positive or a negative charge. Negative if we gain electrons, positive if we lose them. This is Dr. B looking at how ions are formed. Thanks for watching.